All right, I think I'm onto a new home site. I've just been doing some test swinging. And look at that. So you got me a Shirley President uh, suspender. How awesome is that? These are so cool. <laughs> well, that felt interesting there for a minute. But I just ended up being a shovel. So I've done like a million of these bullet casings already. And I don't normally show them. But look how weird that is. It's almost like they turn this uh, into some sort of tool. Or is it just messed up? Cool, I think I got a spoon here. Nice. Some signs of life. I feel like this has definitely been dug before, but hey, got a couple of nice things already. All right, <laughs> oh, that is one neat relic. I don't even know what to say about that one. It says Espina um, Clear Havana Cigars. Leo P. Powell, uh, Makers, New York. And I believe this is a cigarette or a, a cigar cutter. Cut the tip off. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen someone dig one of those. It's got to be what that is. Uh, you just never know what the heck you're going to find out here. That is so amazing. What a cool relic. <laughs> uh, well, someone might have dug it, but they didn't get everything. I don't know what that is, but it's got a little fancy on it. Axe head. Nice. Well, that's an interesting piece. Not sure what it is. Yeah, I can't tell. Oh man. So I moved on from the last place. That was just a little after work hunt anyways. Wasn't much there. Look at that foundation. And there's a huge chimney in there too. Crazy. Well, you know what this means. Time to get to work. And I have a, you know, a decent part of a day. So I'm going to really uh, camp out here and see what I can find. All right, so my very first sound looks like a, is that like a lug, I think that's a lug nut cover for a Model T. Awesome. I mean, I'm sure this place has been dug before. It's a very obvious. But they didn't get everything, did they? I meant to say valve stem cover, I think, for the Model T. Well, there's my second find. I wouldn't normally show you this, but you'd normally kind of just call this junk. But man, look at the detail on that. Usually you can't read anything. It says uh, cold patch cement. And it does have some information about who made it crazy all right it's been a little while since i checked in with you guys <laughs> i've just been in a war digging rifle shells but hey there's a button so sweet o p r or o o o r r little four button or four hole all right i got some sort of coin here i think what do we got weedy which is nice because it'll help us date it and this is 1916 so not bad this is pretty old here there we go there's a little piece of buckle yeah hopefully get some more relics out of here dang i got another coin oh yeah there we go this one's actually an indian head now we're getting in it. Man, look how pretty that Indian head is. 1903. Oh, it's beautiful. 
yeah it's real dry up here nice sandy soil it's great conditions for having coins come out like this cool keep going button man i can't believe it i think i have another coin here holy cow another indian this one's 1904 <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that far from the other one. Boy, that was just a prayer dig there. I was just like, oh, that's an interesting beat, but it kind of sounded more like iron. Dang. All right, double Indians. Can't complain about that. Let's keep going. You guys see that? <laughs> I'm under this tree doing some digging, and I look up, and... There's fur all over this, so I'm pretty sure a bear scratched his back right here. <laughs> That's what that is. So in the area, I found those two Indians. I've got quite a few buttons and I'm starting to get some of these buckles. And there's kind of a weird post. And I'm wondering if this is where they did laundry. So I got a ton of buttons I haven't shown you. Just a bunch of, you know, overall buttons and things that are all rusted out. This one's a little nicer. It says, all reg wear. There's crown overall. Man, I'd really like to get a really nice suspender clip out of here. Nice fancy one. Hope it happens. Look at that fireplace. How crazy is that? You wouldn't think something like that from the early 1900s, would you? Well, that was sure ringing nice. Old brass buckle. Sweet. So there's a huge cellar hole. Looks like it's cemented in clear up the mountain. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna make my way up there here in a minute. So this is what I'm seeing. Clear up here. Dry. And I get up here. Look at this. Didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> now that's a reservoir for water. Holy cow. If I fell down in there, I'd never get out. Dang, guy could die in there. What's a homestead hunt without a harmonica reed, huh? There it is. Always. I still got a sound in there. I might have both the reeds. Same spot. Yeah, look at that. Here's the second one. Awesome. Man, the luck I'm having today. I can't believe it. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's a buffalo. Man, I did not expect that. I thought that was going to be a vehicle. This place is full of surprises. So they must have been here for a little while. Let me see if I can clean that up a little. So the back side's beautiful. Front side's toast. I don't think I'm gonna get a date. But, man, that's four coins, one site. It's not bad for one of these old homesteads that's already been hit, let me tell you. That's crazy. Well, I'm starting to wrap it up. It is dark, getting dark. I got a long ride out of here. I don't want to get stuck here at night, so yeah, a little bit more. Just kind of making my way back to the truck. Got a little spoon bowl. All right, not bad for just a day out. I just scouted this, found it, detected it, didn't know it was here. Four coins. A couple of eh, okay relics. Yeah, maybe next time we'll get one that's a little more unique, but Gunner had a good time. Hope you guys did. See you on the next one.